We had to move out of our HDB flat into a one-room flat just to make ends meet. Hi everyone, I'm Rachel. I'm the co-founder of Love Bonito. I grew up in a family of five with two other brothers. I'm the middle of three kids. I come from a middle-income family where my dad used to run his own business in the shipping industry and my mom also, she works you know, in a construction firm. We have always been comfortable in our own ways uh, until there was a financial crisis that hit us where my dad uh, went through bankruptcy and we had to move out of our HDB flat into a one-room flat just to make ends meet. Back then, we were still in school uh, and that was also the time where my co-founders and I came together to start selling our pre-love clothes back then online for extra pocket money. And of course, because I was bonded to the government, I, I had to pay off um, a sum of money to break off the bond to pursue the business. So obviously, I did not have that five-figure sum of money and so I had to go to my mum uh, to borrow the money to break off the bond. She obviously had her doubts, right? And for me, I guess at the end of the day, I knew that I had to strike when the iron is hot. I managed to persuade and convince my mom. And I only realized later that actually that sum of money that I needed was her entire life savings back then. I have no regrets, you know, even pursuing my education in teaching, getting a bond and things like that. I also think that in fact, that was what drove me to also ensure that uh, I will make this work as much as possible. I think from the beginning, you know, three of us were always the face of the brand and that's what also helped build uh, trust, you know, within our customers where they really understood and they knew who were behind the brand. And for me, it's also, you know, really questioning my existence in the business, the purpose of Love Bonito, why are we here for? You know, there was a period of time where I was really jaded and burnt out and I really came into office just doing what I needed to do, knowing that I was responsible for my staff in terms of you know, them putting food on the table, supporting their families, things like that. And it got to a point where I really took some time out to really dig deep. I guess at the end of the day, Love Bonito exists for women, right? Helping the women come together to understand you know, that all of us are made differently and there's no one that is necessarily better than the other accept and embrace all of yourself and just work towards becoming a better version of yourself. But when I really discovered that purpose and mission, I think that gave me a lot of motivation and drive to really push through the tough times. I really wish that I had taken the time earlier to really understand and know myself inside out. Because in my journey, I realized that when I wasn't sure of my identity, I wasn't sure of my person, I wasn't sure of my values and principles, I was easily swayed by my peers, the people around me, um, the different voices, uh, or even you know what I see in the media. Becoming myself has been an ongoing journey of uh, self-discovery, self-acceptance and self-growth. <laughs>